hello friends welcome to our youtube channel friends in this video we are going to see how we can install mysql workbench for windows operating system and how to use it with pycharm okay so to install mysql workbench in google you need to type mysql installer okay so click on the first result you will redirect to mysql website okay so from here there are two options uh, mysql installer for web community and mysql installer for community okay so i want this uh, second option okay so it is around uh, 427 mb okay so click on this download file okay after clicking just uh, click on this no thanks just start my download okay so as soon as you click on that uh, your download will get started okay so i have already downloaded uh, as i already downloaded mysql installer file okay so now i will click on this file to install it okay so just uh, follow the installation process it will take some time okay so be patient for that so click on s just follow the process okay uh, as you install other softwares and click on next as okay so uh, just uh, make sure to follow that process in this software also okay so here we are getting lots of options so we want developer default so uh, make it default and click next okay so it will install some external files also okay so click on this and click next then click s and these are the softwares which are going to install okay so just click on execute and this process will take some time okay as you can see that uh, everything is get installed and completed successfully so click on next so it will do some configuration okay so click on next yes uh, we want this as standalone mysql server okay so click the next okay so here it is uh, we can see uh, our mysql by default port number is uh, 3306 oh, so just make sure you have to make it default then click next okay so now you have to set the password for your mysql workbench okay so click next so set password over here okay so i will set my say my sql 123 <coughs> my sql 123 okay so actually this is big password but it is okay then click next okay then click next and click on execute okay so it as you can see the process is get completed then click on finish okay so it will now configure mysql router so click next okay so just click finish then click next okay so you have to enter password over here so our password was my sql123 so just check it so yes we have inserted correct password and connection get succeeded okay so just click next and then just click on execute and wait for the process as you can see our process is now completed so i will click on finish okay so just click next okay so now our process is uh, completed successfully on now if i click finish over here then our mysql workbench gets started okay and it also start mysql shell so it's your choice uh, you want to work with mysql workbench or mysql shell okay so i just click on finish so it is this is mysql shell and also you can see that mysql workbench also get started okay so i want to work with mysql workbench okay so i will click this mysql shell okay so this is welcome to mysql workbench so we have successfully installed mysql workbench in our windows operating system okay so now click on this uh, local instance now you have to enter password so mysql123 okay so here it is we have successfully installed mysql workbench okay so now to use mysql workbench as a backend for your pycharm projects now you have to install one more thing okay so for that we have to open your pycharm project so yes i have opened my pycharm project so in pycharm project uh, go to the files then go to the settings 
in settings uh, go to your project okay so in the project uh, you have to click on this project interpreter okay so here is the list of uh, packages which we have installed in this project okay so i will require one more package okay so for that click on this plus button okay so now you have to enter the package uh, which act as a connector between your pyjam and mysql workbench and the name of the package is mysql connector okay so just uh, click on my sql connector okay so here it is so yes uh, this is my sql connector and now i want to install this in my pycharm okay so just click on install package now it will take some time to download that package first and then get installed okay so just wait for that So yes, uh, package MySQL connector installed successfully. So this is how you can add external packages in your PyCharm. Okay, so yes, we can see that uh, MySQL connector get installed. So click on OK. Okay, so now you can uh, uh, use uh, MySQL Workbench as a backend for your PyCharm projects. Okay, so this is how you can install MySQL Workbench and MySQL connector uh, package in your PyCharm.